Former Prime Minister Stephen Harper is expected to speak today with two presidential advisors who are known to have Donald Trump's ear. Lindsay Duncombe joins us now from the White House on this story. So, Lindsay, what do we know about Harper's visit? Well, Stephen Harper didn't make this public. It came out in media reports. And he also didn't give a heads up to the embassy or the current prime minister or even to his own conservative party. What we know is that he will be meeting with some key officials in the Trump administration, including Larry Kudlow, who is the head of the National Economic Council. He is also one of Donald Trump's key advisors on trade and one of the people who, after the G7, was critical of Prime Minister Trudeau um, immediately following that conference. He'll also meet with the National Security Advisor John Bolton. And it, this is, of course, happening as tensions between the United States and Canada are simmering, certainly, the day after Canada announced those more than $12 billion in retaliatory tariffs in response to the steel and aluminum tariffs from the United States. But that's not necessarily what Stephen Harper is here to talk about. In his post-prime ministerial life, he is a member of a number of different organizations. In fact, he's the chair of a, a, a group of people who work with center-right and right-leaning politicians. He's been in Europe a meeting on that subject. He also is part of a Friends of Israel initiative, which might be something that he would want to discuss with John Bolton. Uh, but certainly, uh, it is uh, causing a little bit of of con uh, controversy and mystery that the former prime minister is here at this particular time. And now Harper's visit to Washington is happening at a time, like you say, when a lot of headline making issues are competing for the president's attention in the White House. So how big of a priority will the talks be for the Trump administration? Well, certainly, if he is going to give some insight uh, or conversations about trade, that is something that this administration is focused on. But it is a focus that is split among some very key domestic issues, including, of course, the fact that just a week from today, Donald Trump has said that he wants to have a, a Supreme Court nominee to name and to go through that process. And on trade, there is a sense that it might not be top of mind for this administration, because speaking in an interview over the weekend, Donald Trump said that he thought a NAFTA deal would happen after the midterm elections in November. So given that, given that there are developments in North Korea that point to perhaps them not living up to the promise that Donald Trump thought he heard about uh, curtailing or stopping all nuclear production, and also that there are ongoing issues with the southern border, to get that Canadian conversation top of mind for anyone, I including the former prime minister, if indeed that's what he's here to do, uh, is a challenge.